I had hardly even fallen my hands since or before I could even walk. From an early age, that's all he seemed to want to do. Or maybe forced into it, I'm not sure. <laughs> when he was coaching us, we used to be soloing up and down the garden. And I used to always be saying, just because you like hurling doesn't mean I like hurling. <laughs> I suppose my career is, uh, <laughs> is well and truly over, but uh, I was involved with the Cox Seniors the last three years. But won all Ireland senior right in 86, um, which was the, uh, the pinnacle, obviously. One of the things he always taught me was the ability to catch the ball from the, in the air. You just have to flick the ball and stuff into my hand and do different sorts of stuff just to get the ball. My ambition was to win all Ireland, like that was it. We were obviously, as a family, very excited for Shane to be part of that. And, and as captain of the team as well, it was an added honour. Challenge match against Clare was up in uh, Clare Castle about five weeks ago from yesterday. And about 10 minutes into the game, and I was going after the breaking ball and the ball went in behind me and I just put my foot into the ground and stopped to turn around and my foot got stuck and as I turned I just kind of fell and just heard cracks then as I was falling then I knew there was something wrong then. We found out that uh, there, was, there was a break there and the ligaments were badly damaged and that his fibula was broken so he was devastated when he found out. <laughs> I probably felt worse about it than he did. That's really when it struck home that um, this, is, this is serious and this is going to, it's going to take a bit of time. It's hard watching them training when I should be out there. I have to just go watch training and watch the matches and can't be involved. It's, it's just devastating. I think that my year's over already, like having only one match play. Tonight the lads are playing the second round of the championship against Limerick again, the Munster semi-final. It'll be hard to watch, but as long as they, the lads get the win and I'll be happy. Like Just to see them go on and be successful throughout the year will be make me happy, like, even though I'm not involved. Well, a very good evening, everybody, and welcome along to the Gaelic Grounds for this Electric Ireland Munster Minor Hurling Championship semi-final. It's the second time that these two sides have met this season, but it's going to be a right old battle, and Limerick looking to do what they did last season, and that's beat Cork at the semi-final stages here at the Gaelic Grounds. Are they missing their inspirational player, Shane Kingston, their captain? How oh, they'd love to have his marksmanship tonight. Cork and Limerick involved in a battle for this little down here beneath us. There's blood, sweat and tears being shed out there. And to him, Stoff, it's what the Monster Minor Holland Championship is all about. Long back door tonight. This is major. This is most important. As the game went on, they kind of started to pull away. And then towards the end, they were they just pulled off from there. Like, Day one, the game was over. Oh, it was devastating. We were all in tears and that after. Is it. Incredible, incredible scenes at the Gaelic grounds. The pitch invasion begins as Limerick, for the third successive year in a row, advanced to the Munster decider. But what drama here at the Gaelic grounds. The lads, they showed well, like they stood up to it. And just unfortunate that it didn't go our way on the night. But I'll be back when I get the legs sorted. He's only a young lad, he's only 17. Uh, he'll be judged in 15 years' time whether he was any good or not, not when he's 17.